Today is Lara Croft's birthday. <laughs> so I want to celebrate her with a little video. It's also Valentine's Day, however, but I have decided against presenting you my top 10 reasons why I've had a crush on Lara for 25 years, as I think that would be a rather sad and pathetic video nobody would want to watch. Birthdays are all about fun and games, so I want to look at some moments where the classic Tomb Raider games were all about fun and games. At our expense. These games just love to mock us sometimes. Don't you think you've seen enough? Like the time they made us believe we could undress Lara with a cheat code, which blew her up instead. Or when they put spikes in the middle of some lava, as if the lava wouldn't be enough to kill us. Or how about the time they gave us guns to use in Lara's home, put a bullseye on Winston, but maxed out his defense stats with that tea tray. Okay, that was a little dark. Maybe I should present you my top 10 reasons why I've had a crush on Winston for 25 years instead to make up for all the times I've been bad to him. And let's just get it out of the way because I have to mention it for this topic. They made us waste nearly two minutes of our lives climbing the world's second longest ladder. Twice. They've made fun of us, they've been mean to us, and they've been downright unfair to us at times. There is no bully quite like the classic Tomb Raider games, and here's the top 10 times they mocked us. First up is an entry that's just cruel, as it's a straight up mockery of our intelligence. The final level of The Last Revelation has my favorite Tomb Raider puzzle of all time, where Lara needs to put a number of scales in their correct position by filling them with the right amounts of water. This actually requires you to use your brain. If you screw up, which is very likely to happen since it's difficult, the game unleashes a terrifying monster to kill you, which basically feels like the game is mocking you for failing. The game literally punishes you for being stupid. Right off the cat, as Lara plummets into the flooded city of Kamun, you just know that Return to Egypt will be a level of the mocking kind with that winking sphinx. Uh, winx? Lara is searching for the ancient temple of the cat here, but she has a catastrophic feline encounter already in this level. What do cats love doing more than anything? <coughs> Knocking things off of things. This is a terrible way to celebrate Lara. <coughs> Lara works incredibly hard to get her hands on the mysterious and important Seraph at the bottom of the sea, as it's the key to locate an even more important artifact. With this key in her possession, she makes her way to the Bakang Monastery high up in the remote Himalayan mountains to locate the Talion. Here the Seraph must be inserted in a huge golden circular gate to gain access to the secret catacombs it hides. You feel intimidated by this massive gate and wonder if perhaps you should take a step or two back so it can roll to the side and reveal its hidden wonders without hurting you. But instead, this flimsy little wooden door just opens over in the corner. All that work for that! Lara needs to learn to bring an axe. The very first Tomb Raider game is mean, right at the beginning when the player is still learning the ropes with the complicated running jump mechanic. One particular gap that the player very well may fail to jump across is the home of a big scary bear. Besides the jumping mechanics, you know what else the player hasn't had time to learn yet? The combat mechanics. The Last Revelation is a tough game, so there's a very high chance you have run low on both small medipacks, large medipacks and shotgun shells by the time you've reached the Guardian of Semerket. What a joy it is then to find a secret that has one of each to pick up. Except when you've picked up one, the other two will be engulfed in flames. Just... why, Core Design? Why? Playable Tutorial Level is a very harmless sounding title, but this level is anything but that. Not only does it drop the world's largest chestnut on you after using a lever, I mean, how were we supposed to anticipate that? But the level is also the architect of the most anticlimactic finish ever, just as the music kicks in. <laughs> Crap. 
cruel, but also kind of funny. The Maria Doria levels of Tomb Raider 2 are dark and claustrophobic, so it's such a breath of fresh air when Lara arrives in the bright and sprawling Tibetan foothills for her next destination. You just really want to enjoy these big open spaces and explore everything, and the prospect of doing so by snowmobile makes you even more excited to do so. You just need to cross that big open snowy field and... <gasps> Off the heels of the great success of the first Tomb Raider game, Tomb Raider 2 was one of the most hotly anticipated games of 1997. This meant that the game brought in a huge group of new players alongside the returning ones. The players that returned would be met with an opening level equivalent to the final level of the previous game in terms of difficulty, while the newcomers would be welcomed with a good old ass kicking. It's ridiculous how over-the-top difficult the Great Wall is as an opening level, but it's also a really funny prank pulled on the player. <laughs> Tomb Raider 2 begins with Lara locating the entrance to the Temple of Xi'an, but nothing is ever as simple as it seems in Tomb Raider 2, apparently. She needs to leave it and go on a globe-spanning adventure first from Venice to Tibet with a shipwreck at the bottom of the sea in between before she can finally return and open this door. The Dagger of Xi'an is right there, the artifact Lara has been searching for all along in plain sight. I would probably just have given up if I were Lara. Even worse is that they repeat this exact crap in Tomb Raider Chronicles, meaning that Core Design didn't even feel sorry for doing it the first time. Right now you may be wondering why there hasn't been a single entry from Tomb Raider 3 on this list, since that game is infamously unfair. Well, that's because number one on this list is Tomb Raider 3. Ha ha ha!